Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of October. This is for the second half of October. And this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Virgo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, or you will be dealing with. Right. So, Virgo, let's get started. What is your energy? We have five of pentacles. Death and rebirth. Four of cups. For your person, we have strength. Eight of wands. And page of swords. Right. Let me show you your cards. You may be dealing with Aries, Leo, Scorpio. I'm hearing Aquarius. So this is your spread. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Number eight is of some importance, guys. You may be saying eight, eight, eight. You may be saying a lot of infinity symbols. The word infinity is also important for some of you. You're, if you're planning to start a business, maybe you are thinking about the word infinity to use word infinity in as you know somewhere in your brand logo. Or uh, the nomenclature of your business will include the word infinity. Uh, you are someone who believes and dreams a lot. Okay, you are someone who is ambitious. You are someone who doesn't allow yourself to. I mean, you don't hold yourself back if you're if you're being faced with certain challenges. Okay, you like to overcome the challenges and you keep on walking forward. And that is because of that fact, you you do get attracted towards words like infinity, eternity, and something like that. You, Some of you may also be having tattoos, uh, which probably includes the words infinity or... Uh, you like infinite possibilities in your life okay you are you you do not give up easily you keep on working towards everything you in fact i see like virgo for you uh obviously life was not a cakewalk for you as compared to many people of your same age your your peers and competitors you had a pretty rough start early on okay and however you used to always put a smile you still put a smile on your face and you you face all the challenges and struggles in your life and that is why people never understood the gravity of challenges that you were facing people always thought that ah oh, there is a smile on virgo's face so definitely virgo is not struggling at all virgo's life is quite easy virgo's life is uh, was a cakewalk and virgo is is absolutely lucky in everything no they don't know the fact that you have worked your ass off okay it was a never give up attitude for you and you did not stop because of uh, any challenges that are being thrown at you keep on moving forward uh as far as your energy is concerned virgo what i feel is five of 
uh, Pentacles, Death and Rebirth, and Four of Cups. What I'm hearing is you were betrayed big time by someone in the past, not now, not now, in the past. And this betrayal probably was at a workplace, probably something uh, related to your business at a job place or this betrayal was in love. If this was about business or a job place, you probably were working on a, on a certain project. The idea or the project was your brainchild, but someone else took away the credit for, for your hard work, for your uh, intellectual ideas. In some cases, your friend actually co collaborated with you or someone you thought was trustworthy collaborated with you on work front. But that person ended up betraying you, ended up stealing away your business. And now that person may be a competitor of yours. Okay, so there is someone who always wants to be in competition with you, Virgo. You trigger people. Like even you, I mean, you trigger people in the sense you don't do anything to trigger them. You don't go and say something or do anything because of which other people are getting triggered. No. It is simply that even if you're standing in a room, people start feeling insecure because of that. Even if you're standing in a room, people uh, people get triggered. Their, their insecurities start coming to the surface just because of your mere, mere presence. And because of that, you may have received a lot of negativity throughout your life. Okay. There is also this thing like people always have been in competition with you. In some cases, I, I simply heard that even your mother was in competition with you, especially if some of you are whoever is watching this video is a female. Then I feel like your mother probably was in competition with you. And if you are a male watching this video, then it may be not in very in very few cases your father was in competition with you but when but if it is mother then she was directly showing that she is in competition with you and she literally doesn't like you or she literally doesn't like uh whatever you're doing she doesn't like you getting credit for anything she doesn't like that you are outshining her okay you, your mother probably was a libra uh, an unhealed Libra or uh, an unhealed uh, Scorpio I'm also hearing an unhealed Taurus maybe a Leo unhealed Leo so what I see is you're, you are vibrating at such a high level that people want to be like you and they want to pull you down they want to pull you down because they cannot be like you so they want to pull you down to their level and that is what i see in the recent past maybe something has happened because of you which you felt betrayed and <clears throat> you left someone or something in some cases i feel like you had to leave a business because someone stole away your business from you or someone stole away your 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 business idea and they got into competition with you and they stole the business idea and they are telling everyone that you are the one who actually stole the business idea from them okay it can be otherwise also during childhood also you may have experienced that uh, you you are owning a doll or or some kind of uh, it may be a Barbie doll or it may be some kind of a, um, a Spider-Man kind of a, I don't know what should I say, a Spider-Man plastic doll or something like that. If you're a male, then your brother or sister might have stolen that from you and they ended up telling the parents like you are the one who stole that doll from them and that is why they have taken it back 
and your parents ended up scolding you okay so so something like that may have happened with you and i feel like you are virgo you are forced to think like is my fate or my destiny tied to some other place where i will experience success achievement and appreciation that i truly deserve because wherever you are right now especially if you are in proximity of your friends or your childhood friends or your family or uh, or in the pro- if, especially if you are in proximity of a, uh, a situation or a job where you have experienced a lot of toxicity or if you are living in the same city where your ex ex also lives okay and who was a very toxic person you are kind of forced to think like why something like this is getting repeated in my life why there is a pattern okay is there something that i need to change at my end okay is there something that i need to realize at my end especially you know that you are a very very talented person you know that you are someone who is highly capable person and because of that you know that you deserve much better life you deserve much better things in the, uh, in your life and much better people in your life who can understand who you are and who you want to become and there will be an encouraging atmosphere around you motivating atmosphere around you or you want to be a part of like minded people i mean you want to mingle around with like minded people and you are wondering where is my soul tribe is my soul tribe somewhere else and do i need to change my place so that i can join hands with my soul tribe so i can be a part of that community so maybe some of you are thinking about thinking where my destiny is some of you are getting quite uh, some of you are thinking quite deeply virgo that is, is do i need to change something maybe you are approaching astrologer or a tarot card reader or maybe you are uh, you know you are reading a lot of uh, books related to occult and numerology and palmistry and something like that so you want to know where your destiny lies exactly okay you want to know why there is this betrayal pattern in your life you want to you're trying to uh, deep dive in your own life and you also want to know if there are any kind of changes that you you need to do at your end okay <clears throat> four of cups is again your self reflection is leading you towards love is what i'm hearing the more you go deep the more you are going to come closer to your soulmate the more you uh, try to discover yourself the more you try to understand yourself the more self introspection you do the more fate is going to bring you towards your destined partner so strength and eight of wands and we have page of swords fate is changing for you when it comes to your love life what i'm hearing is especially if you something negative has happened to you in the past then probably that was the final nail on the coffin okay you probably lost someone <clears throat> you you have you may have experienced a demise of someone near and dear one in your life you may have experienced someone ghosting you and leaving you a relationship got broken down you may have experienced loss of money you may have experienced loss of business loss of job or something so if some negative event has happened in your life that was a final nail on the coffin probably that was a past life karma that got carried forward and now you have repaid that what i'm seeing is better better times are there are uh, better times are lying <coughs> better times are there in the future in the near future 
<coughs> excuse me so things are going to happen at a great speed like someone is about to enter in your life at a great speed and you will literally feel like wow i never thought that i'm going to find love so fast i mean before you realize this person will be a significant part of your life <clears throat> they are someone who is very much powerful person okay but you are the one who will be capable in taming them or maybe whoever this person is they have experienced opposite sex throwing themselves or uh, throwing them uh, themselves at them okay but you are the one who is not going to act desperate you are the one who is who will be interested in that person but you're going to hold yourself back because you want that person to come towards you i see that person will che uh, will keep on chasing you and they're going to love this game of chasing they will like the fact that you are making them chase you which was in fact always vice versa for them in the past okay they are liking the fact that they are surrendering themselves to you they are liking the fact that you are the one who is able to tame them they are liking the fact that you do not get scared by their larger than life personality by the, i don't want to use larger than life but but a very strong personality okay this person is someone who is very well accomplished very powerful probably wealthy and they are looking for someone who is who is a compatible match okay and you are the perfect you are that missing piece of puzzle for them you are a perfect partner for them wow this was intense all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead virgo